<clears throat> Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family to another weekly haul episode. I know it's been a while but I got a huge one here. We need to start cracking these open. So I got a new diorama in the mail that I commissioned off a of heavy metal 164th as you know, I'm on YouTube or Optical Luge or Optical Rouge on uh, Instagram. I think it's Optical underscore Rouge, R-U-S-E. But he's been making a lot of dioramas, but he used to post a lot of YouTube videos. And uh, he's the one that ended Introduced me to a lot of brands, premium brands like Kyosho and Konami and everything else. In his earlier years, he collected a lot of Hot Wheels and stuff. But first up, we got a 67 Camaro, which I did not have in white. And I don't know where my little rubber pad is. So the cars don't roll off. Should be sitting right here, but when I show premium die cast, I don't need it because, of course, the rubber tires, they don't roll off. But, ran into a case. Uh, actually, it was four cases they put out at Target. Uh my buddy, my local collecting buddy, he let me know that they dropped them there, and uh, I hurried up and went straight there, and I got some some cars that I just haven't been able to get or find, and new castings that came out. So I got this Toyota Land Cruiser, which I think is new. I think they use this paint scheme on a another uh, casting not too long ago. I don't know if it was like a Rolls Royce or a Jeep. It was an old Jeep. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Now they won't roll off. That's better. And then we'll take a nice look at the diorama when we're done cracking all these new Hot Wheels open. And I got some others, some premiums and stuff. But we have this 2017 Nissan GTR, which I did not have in this gray. I'm pretty sure I don't. No, well, let me look real quick because they're right here. While you check out that with the. Nice rear detail, and I do have it in gray, but it doesn't have the black stripe on it, so, and this is from the Then and Now series, so, they should have an older one with the same paint scheme, which I don't think they've released yet, so there's an older release, not sure when that came out. And the same rims? No, they're different rims, definitely. The spoked rims look better. These don't look bad. Next one is a 1985 Honda CRX in black. The other color variation was white. This is Hot Wheels Speed Graphics. And these are from the L case. I'm pretty sure all four cases were the L case. Uh, two collectors 
had already went through them and uh one of the collectors is like a local scalper who uh takes them around to the guy who sells them at the flea market or at the uh at the die cast store he's how he gets his new stuff so he'll fill up a case of just all the new ca castings that are selling next we got the 84 Pontiac Firebird in red and we have one I've been missing which I got off my local buddy Jeremy is this 2018 Bugatti Devo from Matchbox. I did not have it in gray. I found it maybe two or three times in the black variation at the store. I think I even left it once or twice, but I, I did not have the gray. The gray looks really awesome with the blue interior. Nice rear detail with it. Very happy to have that. And we got the Tesla Model 3, which I thought looked really good in the blue. Get headlight, tail light detail. It's like this Bugatti, get headlight and tail light detail in this matchbox. Looks very nice. Very well done. Then we have this Land Rover Defender 90, which might have been the one that came out in blue and black was a Land Rover. I don't know. Or the blue with the white roof. I don't know why this paint scheme looks extremely familiar, this paint scheme. Very nice looking body lines on this can tell this was this paint was put on really thin and it looks a lot better when Hot Wheels puts the paint on thin then my daughter got me these for my birthday she got me this twin mill I did not have she got me the truck i think it was a ford f100 or something or ford step side which i already had so we're not gonna crack it open but we're gonna check out this twin mill looks pretty cool only got a twin couple twin mills in my collection but you know when they come in a five pack or something i'll, I'll hang on to it i'll keep it it is a real vehicle that Hot Wheels did produce. And I'm not sure what year it came out, but it's been out a long time. The next one, we got a custom Cadillac Fleetwood. Not one I probably would have picked up, but since my daughter got it for me for my birthday and it is a Cadillac, I will put it in the collection. And these all have an awesome, awesome like burn orange paint job, so... Fifty-three years of Hot Wheels. Guess they're going to come out with this. I don't know what is this—a ten-car release or something every year. Five-car release. I uh, think I'm missing the '62 Chevy pickup. Might need that, and the Chevelle. Definitely need them too. Still. 
But I did get the custom 56 Ford truck though. Next one is a brand new Hot Wheels. It's Mercedes-Benz 300 SL, which they just fucking killed this casting. I know this ain't a new casting, but the paint scheme on it, it's just freaking awesome. I think it looks amazing for a... Uh, One dollar casting. Really happy to have it. Really happy that I found it. Definitely a casting I would collect from Hot Wheels. Next we got the 67 Ford GT40 MK in yellow. Of course this is a new one too. Which I did not have. This is a second color release of it. Next one, we got an Austin Martin 177 in yellow from Hot Wheels Rescue. Definitely will collect this casting. It's a new casting from Hot Wheels. I think it's the second or third release of it. Maybe only the second. Now I know from my Kyosho video where I showed the new diorama. Make sure you watch that one. Uh, I had 17 Kyosho on here and I could have squeezed some more on it, so... Easily fit 17 cars. It's a pretty good size. You got two parking lots. You got one up here, an upper parking lot, good for like a car show. You got the road coming in. Got the stop sign in the right spot now. Thank you. And then a little parking lot off to the side over here. Back some cars in. While they're over here at the car show. Like a satin yellow. Front detail. Looks pretty good. Next one. I had to get it. It's a Disney steamboat. So I needed it for like the Hollywood kind of screen time collection thought it was cool how it's in the black and the white it's a new for 2021 and see when you roll it the boat thing turns pretty cool Next one is a 85 Chevy Camaro IROC Z in burgundy. Looks amazing. Definitely need to pick up another one of these. Definitely will have to get one for the burgundy car collection. Wow, look at that thing. Now, back-to-back -back amazing cars, I tell you what. But this one here might be my most anticipated release of the year. This LB Silhouette, Silhouette Works GT Nissan 335, or uh, Nissan 35 GTR R. VER2 version 2. This thing is fucking badass. That's all I can say. One bad ass casting, especially for a dollar. Liberty Walk, Hot Wheels, 
You guys are killing it. Just killing it, man. Cannot wait to collect this in every single color variation they put it out in. <clears throat> I mean, would you just look at that? For 99 cents, they did an absolutely perfect job with this casting. Everything about it. Man. Definitely a casting I could customize the freaking shit out of, but they did such a perfect job, and they do go, they're going to do a bunch of color variations of it, you know it, so. But yeah, it, it wow. This one could definitely use some real riders. If I end up coming across another one, for a dollar at the store, I'm definitely going to throw a set of real riders on there. If I came across a bunch of them, I, I might customize a couple, but I don't think I am. I think this is going to be, I don't think this is a casting I'm going to find hanging on the pegs, unfortunately. I got lucky because the cases just dropped, and actually none of these were hanging up. Uh, but the local collector, he, he gave me two of them, so I do have two of them. Maybe I'll do a wheel swap on the other one. I think he gave me two of them. Yeah. Yep, I got two of them here, so. Next one's going to be a 2020 Jeep Gladiator in green, which looks pretty good, but anything's going to be hard to follow up this. I mean, wow. Killing it, Hot Wheels. Got the motorcycles in the back. Definitely need to get one of these and detail the bikes. Definitely look awesome with the bikes detailed. Especially if it's detailed well. Next one. We got a Batmobile. Surprised it ain't a treasure hunt. Usually have at least one Batmobile treasure hunt every year, if not more. And it just says Batmobile. That's it. It don't say first uh, Hot Wheels first appearance. So the Batman. Don't know if it's a new movie coming out or what, but there it is. So this might be a new Batman coming out, and this might be an all-new Batmobile. Looks kind of like a Dodge Charger or Cuda or something, I think. Maybe one of you could tell me what actual car this is based off of, but it looks awesome with the flat satin black. So many new Hot Wheels. Got a 71 Plymouth Roadrunner here. This look, The paint on this looks like it should be in the Cool Classic series uh, or something. Or not the Cool Classics, but uh, uh, the ones that they sell at Target that look like the old cars. So, Muscle Mania. 2021. Hard believe the A case is going to be coming out in like another month or two. Wonder what the first super will be in the A case. Anybody know? I don't know if it's snuck out yet or not. But this one was a super. It might have been the super in the L case. But uh, the 68 Mercury Cougar. Which I think has been a super two or three times now. This is a regular variation, which I'm happy to have. Got 
And I do have the super treasure hunt of it. Which I had to pick up because it's an awesome looking super. In the paint, which the mainline paint's really close. It's darker. And you can definitely tell the difference. The naked eye, the difference is a little less recognizable than on camera, though. Dead giveaways are real riders. Definitely look a lot better on the casting. But the main line looks equally as nice as a super treasure hunt. Pretty darn close, I think. And I think this super was from 2020. And it's in green. And this super is 2021. So. They definitely release it a lot as a super. And I almost think there's a third release of it in a super. Let me know down in the comments, but I think there's an older third release of it as a super. I'm pretty sure. I'm actually going to look it up and see because if there is a third release, I kind of need it just to complete all the supers of it. And this is a pretty large weekly haul video. Really filling up the diorama now, running out of room. But we got this 2019 Chevy Trail Boss LT. And this is a red edition, a Target red edition. It was a Target red cases, but uh, they were pretty much all scalped over. I only wanted one of each. So, or one of each of the castings I collect, which I do collect this casting, which looks freaking awesome in the satin burgundy. Happy to have it for the Silverado collection. Could have went without the brown wheels, but whatever. Now this one, the next one, was an extremely happy score and find. The 67 Chevy C10, a casting I do collect from Hot Wheels. And I did not even know about this color variation. What an awesome color var variation. I can't wait for the other color variations of this one. An awesome paint scheme. I should have made this a super. Put it in like a spectro flame blue. Next one, we got a 2017 Camaro ZL1 in blue, number 17 on the side, so you know it's a 2017, a then and now. And I did hit 3,000 subscribers, so thanks to everybody that subscribed. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a little time, give me a week or two to find all my, uh, the three cars I promised you guys I would, uh, have a giveaway for at when I hit 3,000. So just give me a week or two to find the cars and get them out. And then I'll have a video and I'll tell you how you can enter to win, uh, an ultra red, a super, the supers of my absolute favorite casting, the 1970s Chevy Chevelle. And then, uh, an ultra red I haven't chosen yet, and a green machine. So, because I really like collecting supers and the chase pieces, and plus I'll throw some other random stuff in your box. So don't, uh, you won't get just three chase pieces. There's gonna be other stuff, and probably even a custom and stuff. Or maybe I'll have a separate giveaway in a different video where I'll give away a custom I make. 
So comment down below if you would like to see a video on my customs and uh, I'll give one of them away and I'll tell you how to enter that when I do that video. Uh, it might be a while for that video because I got a lot of customs just in the works right now. But the next one we got here is going to be a standard, the standard cart. And it's a Mario Kart. Really awesome. From the Hot Wheels screen time, new for 2021. And the Batmobile was from a five car Batmobile series. So it's number four out of five of Batman. And I'm officially out of room on the diorama, so I'm going to have to start putting these scars somewhere else now. we still got quite a few to go through. Like this Porsche Taycan Turbo S in Burgundy. Definitely happy to have it for the Burgundy car collection. That thing is awesome. Then the next one is a 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata, which is a treasure hunt, which is an awesome treasure hunt. From the then and now, so I did have to buy this from my local collecting buddy. But I think he gave me a pretty good deal on it, especially for what it's going for on eBay. I think this is going for like 20, 25 bucks on eBay. So I almost need one for the Burgundy car collection too, but I don't see that happening. I'm not gonna pay 15, 20 bucks for it just for the Burgundy car collection. But I'm definitely happy to have it for the regular Mazda collection. Lately, I've been putting the Burgundy cars into the regular car collection at first. So I can keep uh, keep it more organized and uh, of knowing what I have and everything else. And then if it's a Burgundy car like this, I'll pick up a second one for a dollar if I find it. And it will go into the burgundy car collection if uh you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button uh i definitely have to unpack the burgundy car collection but it's just a, a way of displaying it and i don't want them to get dusty and everything else and i really like to come up with a good way of displaying it so that's why i haven't got them out yet but uh i definitely need to Next one is a 67 Chevelle SS396, which another one I did not know was coming out. This is Hot Wheels Speed Graphics. I always wonder if the TH and the, uh, the Fireball logo for the Treasure Hunts, if they put it on, only put one on. I always thought they did only put one on. But this one has it on both sides. But the treasure hunt, you see it says it on the rear quarter, it says it on both sides. Alright, so when I do my customs, I can put it on both sides. Something told me it wasn't always on both sides. Oh, you know what? Maybe if it's on the roof or something, it's only on one side. So yeah, that would make sense. If it's on the roof or trunk or hood or something, it's only going to be on, on there once. So... At least they make them symmetrical, even though the Bone Shaker will have different graphics on each side. They, they've done that a lot with the Bone Shaker release. Love the Chevelle casting. Just like this was a red edition, I 
definitely had to have was a 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible. Awesome, awesome car. I love this Corvette. Absolutely love it. I mean, I love the C8 even more. But man, they killed it with the 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 ZR1, the 2019 Corvette ZR1 was so short-lived. I think the C7 Corvettes were really short-lived. Especially the performance that people can get out of them. And wow, I mean, you could see the engine under the front. This looks carbon fiber, but I'm pretty sure some had like a cutout where it was actually the top of the engine sticking through the hood. I mean, they it just freaking killed it with the C7. Very short-lived Corvette, but it was replaced by an absolutely amazing car, the C8. So it's hard to complain. Next one, we got a McLaren Speedtail here in silver. Which I almost wasn't going to collect this. But then I decided to. I didn't make very many of these Speedtails for the whole entire world. They're quite expensive. Very, very limited. Guess we don't have head headlights. But they put uh, rear tail lights on it. Got a big thick body line there from the casting, it looks like. But you do get rear brake lights. Nice. And that red stripe coming down, I'm pretty sure, is the third brake light. Because you have to have three brake lights. In America, not in all countries. Next, we got the Nissan Silvia S13. I think a S13 or a S15. I think with the right body kit on them and stuff. They can really look like a skyline. And I think they're a lot easier and cheaper to get in the U.S. I could be wrong, because this is right-hand drive, so. They might not, they might have been something that was never sold in the U.S., like the Skyline. I'm not sure. If you know, comment down below. Was the Sylvia sold in the U.S.? Because I think if you changed out the back end and put rear, uh, round tail lights in to make it look more like a Skyline, and did the headlights and maybe a, a body kit, I, I think it would look a lot like a Skyline. Or you could make it look a lot like a Skyline. Now, I think the S13. I don't say a new new casting. But I don't ever remember it before. I do not have this in the collection. I got the S15. But not the S13, I don't think. And we got some premium here. Some Hot Wheels car culture actually found these hanging on the peg. So, I'm still missing the van. They did not have the van. But, I got the rest of them. The Audi S4 Quattro is pretty awesome, just like the BMW M3. And, of course, I get the Porsche, the 86 Porsche 959. Because I'm a sucker for any Porsche. This is Hot Wheels Premium. Car culture. And then it has a designer's name, I guess. Then the next one's going to be an Audi S4 Quattro. I guess these are all the Dishland design. That must be the name of the release, I'm guessing. This looks to be like a really cool metallic blue. Porsche looks Awesome, though. 
Metallic blue on that looks amazing. We got a main line here, a 2019 Audi R8 Spider. We'll go ahead and crack that open. Awesome, awesome. They did such an amazing job on this casting. This thing looks awesome. Got real riders, metal base, so it's quite heavy. And the last one might be my favorite one of the day. Looking around, I don't know. Man, it is hard to beat that GTR. Really hard to beat that GTR, but this Mercedes Benz. This is based on a real car. I mean, they even got the headlights down. They killed it. This was the one I was most excited about the whole set. I was bummed when I couldn't find it in the store. So, I was so happy I found this. Man, they just freaking killed it on this. Perfect wheel choice. Well, that's all I got to show you for this weekly haul. It was an enormous weekly haul for me. Usually don't run into new cases. And when I do, they're usually already picked over and the good ones are gone, so... I think I got most of the new Hot Wheels that I would be looking for in the next case. So, uh, yeah, very happy about that. This new diorama from Heavy Metal looks amazing. Can't wait to take lots of awesome pictures on it for Instagram. Really shows the car's good for like a car show kind of theme. If they're not good enough for the car show, they can be over here in the prospectors, onlookers. Well, make sure to like and subscribe, leave comments, let me know which one was your favorite casting today. It is hard for me to decide. That's such an awesome Audi. Awesome Corvette. Star of the show for me is this AMG Mercedes, though. Of course, the Supers are awesome, the Camaro and Burgundy. So many awesome cars. GTR. It would definitely be down to the GTR. They killed it with the C10, Firebird, CRX, GTR, Camaro. Come on. Killing it, Hot Wheels. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good day.